is Janine and I'm the children's pastor here at All Saints Church in Lindfield. Can we all say a big hello to our friend Brenda? Hello everyone! Hi Brenda, how are you today? I'm well thank you Janine, I'm enjoying the sunshine. Oh, me too. Now Brenda, shall we start today with a song? Oh yes, that's a great idea. Everyone at home, find a space and get ready for some singing and dancing. everybody that was some great singing and dancing are we all sat down ready to listen well done now brenda can you remind everybody at home what did we do last week hmm well we learned about someone called thomas brilliant well done yes thomas was a disciple of jesus but he didn't believe that Jesus was alive. He had to see it before he trusted that it was true. And we learned last week that the Bible tells us that we need to live by faith and not by sight. And that means that we can't see Jesus physically here at the moment, but we have to have faith and trust that he is true so that we can be with him forever. Oh, Janine. Do you remember a few weeks ago, we learned about another disciple called Peter, but we've not found out what happened to him yet. Yes, that's true. We did say that we'd come back and look at what happened to Peter. Now, Brenda, before we think about Peter, let's think of some things that come in threes. Hmm, well, there's... Goldilocks and the 
three bears. Yes, that's a good one. Anything else? And, oh, the three pigs. Yes, the three little pigs. Brilliant. Mm. Now, if we remember what we learned about Peter was that he denied, he said that he didn't know who Jesus was three times. And in the video we're about to watch, I want you to listen out to every time that something happens three times. And we'll talk a bit more about it when we come back. See you in a few minutes. The Miracle of Mercy, Peter. This is Peter. Hey Whoop. Peter was a fisherman who was called by Jesus. Hey. Peter saw the many miracles of Jesus and he heard all of his teachings. When the time came for Jesus to die and take away the sins of all the world, Jesus had one final meal with his friends. During this meal, Jesus told his followers that the time had come for him to leave them. Huh? Peter asked, where are you going? Jesus told him Peter couldn't follow him now. What? But that he would follow him later. What is going? But Peter said, why can't I come now? I'm ready to die for you. Jesus said, die for me. Peter, before the rooster crows tomorrow morning, you will deny three times that you even knew me. Then Jesus and his disciples went to the Mount of Olives so Jesus could pray. Along the way, Jesus told his followers that they would all abandon him. Uh -oh. But Peter said, even if everyone else leaves you, I never will. Jesus said, Peter, this very night before the rooster crows, you will deny three times that you even know me. But Peter wouldn't believe it and vowed that he would stay with Jesus until the very end. The other disciples vowed the same. Yeah, I do. Later on that night, Jesus was arrested by men sent by the religious teachers and priests. Peter tried to fight for Jesus and he cut off the ear of one of the guards. Ow. But Jesus healed the guard huh? and went quietly with the captors. All the disciples scattered just as Jesus told them they would. The men led Jesus away to the house of the high priest. Peter and another disciple followed them. Peter came to warm himself by their fire. Uh, hello. <clears throat> A servant girl noticed him in the firelight. Huh? Finally, she said, this man was one of Jesus' followers. Oh, ma. But Peter denied it for the first time. He said, I don't even know him. <sighs> After a while, someone else looked at him and said, you must be one of them. Peter, for a second time, said, No, I'm not. Ah, uh, okay. <sighs> About an hour later, a man who knew the man whose ear Peter cut off said, Didn't I see you in the olive grove with Jesus? This must be one of them. He comes from the same place as all of them. Yeah, you're right. But Peter said, No, no, no. I don't know what you're talking about. And then Peter heard the crow of the rooster. Jesus turned and looked at Peter. Jesus' words flashed through his mind and Peter left the courtyard weeping. Then Jesus died and was placed in a tomb. The disciples heard that he had come back from the dead. Peter even saw the empty tomb and believed that Jesus was alive again. And Jesus appeared to the disciples to show him that he was alive. Some of Jesus' followers were together when Peter said, I am going fishing. Okay. So they all went out to the sea, but caught nothing all night. At dawn, they saw a man standing on the beach. Oh, hey, over here. The man called out to them and said, Have you caught any fish? Nope. The man said, Throw out your net on the right side and you'll get some. Uh, okay. So they did, and they couldn't bring in the net because there were so many fish in it. 
Then one of the men on the boat said to Peter, it's Jesus. When Peter heard that it was Jesus, he swam to the shore while the others pulled in the load to the boat. When they got there, they found breakfast waiting for them. Mm-hmm, I miss a fish. Got it. Jesus said, come have some breakfast. While they were eating, Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? Peter said, yes, you know I love you. So Jesus said, then feed my lambs. Then Jesus asked again, do you love me? Peter said again, yes, you know I love you. And Jesus said, then take care of my sheep. And then a third time, Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? Peter was hurt that Jesus asked the question a third time. So he said, you know everything. You know that I love you. So Jesus said one last time, then feed my sheep. And so Peter went on to feed Jesus' sheep by helping establish the church and by writing books that we can now read in the Bible. And though he denied Jesus, he was forgiven. And many came to know the love and forgiveness of Jesus through Peter. Well, that video was really interesting, wasn't it? It's good to remember that the events that took place were probably a few weeks after Jesus rose from the dead. And also, some of these disciples were fishermen before they followed Jesus. But Janine, why did the disciples not catch any fish, but they caught loads of fish when Jesus told them to try the other side? Mm, that's a great question. You see, sometimes we think we can do things on our own without Jesus. But actually, when we take time to listen to what Jesus wants us to do, he can help us. And that's really good news. But Brenda, what did Peter do when he realised it was Jesus? Well, he jumped out of the boat with all his clothes on. I don't think my mummy would be very happy if I jumped into the sea with my clothes on. I usually wear a swimming costume when I go swimming. Yes, that is very true. But why do you think that Peter did that, Brenda? Well, I'm not really sure, but could it be because he was so excited to see Jesus? Yes, I think that's definitely true. He was so excited, he couldn't contain himself anymore. He just wanted to be with Jesus. I wonder at home, and Brenda, are you excited to see Jesus? Oh yes, I can't wait to see Jesus. Mm. But you know, although we can't see Jesus right now, we can still spend time with him. Brenda, can you think of some ways that we can spend time with Jesus? Well, we can spend time with Jesus by praying and reading the Bible and going to church. Brilliant. All of those ways are ways we can actually spend time with Jesus. Now we're going to pause for a minute here and I'd like to us to all spend time with Jesus right now. So at home, what I'd like you to do is spend the next few minutes thinking about ways that we can tell Jesus what's on our hearts, how we're feeling. Maybe we could ask Jesus for help. We could say, please help me with this, Jesus. Maybe we could say thank you for something that Jesus has done for us. We can also say we're sorry. Maybe we've turned away from Jesus and not acted like he wanted us to. So I'm going to put a timer up. And over the next few minutes at home with whoever's around you, adults, brothers and sisters, I want you to spend a few minutes talking with Jesus and we'll see you in a few. Relentless Church, wherever you are, I need you to put your hands on it like this. Come on. Yep. Everybody clap like this, y'all, like this, y'all. We want to see you. Yeah, so open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Just open the eyes of my heart, cause I want to see you. Say, I want to see you. 
Just open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, cause I want to see you. That's our heart today. I want to see you. Wherever you are, let's raise it together. Come on, say it. to see him in the midst of the noise, in the midst of the chaos. I see Come on, just ask him today. Oh, 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 say open the eyes. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. I want to see it like you see. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see I you. See say, I want to see I you. I want to see you. Let's go. Well done, everyone. Now, Janine, after Peter swam to Jesus and the rest of the disciples got to shore, they all had breakfast together. But I don't understand what Jesus said to Peter. Mm. Yes, it's a good question. We're going to pick up God's word. Remember, the Bible is God's word. It's how he speaks to us. But before I read to you this particular section, I wanted to tell you that sometimes Peter in the Bible is referred to as Simon Peter or Simon, son of John. So when you hear the word Simon Peter or Simon, son of John, they're referring to the Peter that we know who denied Jesus three times. OK, gang, I'm going to read to you from the book of John, chapter 21, starting at verse 15. And it says this. When they had finished eating, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, he said, you know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my lambs. Again, Jesus said, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He answered, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said, take care of my sheep. The third time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? And Peter was hurt because Jesus asked him the third time, do you love me? He said, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my sheep. Hang on a minute, Janine. Does Jesus have a big farm with lots and lots of sheep? seems to want Peter to take care of his sheep. Yes, that is what it says. But here's what Jesus is meaning when he's talking to Peter. You see, Jesus is known as the good shepherd and a shepherd looks after his sheep. Now, when he's talking to Peter about looking after his sheep, he means the people of God. He means look after my people, care for them love them, take care of them, tell them all about me. You see, Jesus has forgiven Peter. Peter denied Jesus three times. And Jesus asked the question, do you love me three times? In this section of the Bible, we see that Peter is forgiven, but not just forgiven. Jesus gives him a really important task. Take care of my people. Tell them about me and spread the good news so that they can be with me forever. And that's really important for all of us so that we should also tell others about who Jesus is. And I think we should take this time to pray. Okay, everybody, let's see your wiggly fingers and your washing machine hands. Let's get faster and faster and clap. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, 
Lord, thank you for the story of forgiveness. Lord, we know that we mess up all the time. Thank you, Lord, that when we turn to you, we say we're sorry, that you will forgive us. Thank you that you loved Peter. Thank you that you love us. And Lord, help us to tell everyone about you so that they may be saved and live with you forever. Heavenly Father, help us to never forget how exciting it is to be with you, to spend time with you. Help us to read the Bible, whether it's as a family or on our own. Help us to pray to you often. Help us to come to church when we can or seek out ways to celebrate and worship you. And Lord, I pray for this coming week that we can show others how much you loved us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, 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 amen. I agree, amen. Well done, everybody. Well, that's it for this week. It has been so lovely to see you. Now, a few notices before you go. If you are in year three all the way to year nine, you might want to join us in May half term for our camp, which is called Explore 814. All the information about that is on All Saints News, which you can get on the website or on our Facebook page. And we'll be back in church at three o'clock next week. So if you can come, do book on nice and early and we'd love to see you there. Absolutely. And if you are trying to book on and it's full up, there isn't enough space, do check back on Saturday and Sunday because sometimes people cancel and there will be spaces available. All right, I think we should end today with a song. What do you think, Brenda? Oh, yes, that's a great idea. All right, everybody. So let's uh, snuggle up or you might want to jump up and dance. It's up to you. And we will see you next week. It is goodbye from me. Goodbye and goodbye from Brenda.